What's up guys, I'm Eric. Today we're installing a hitch on a Chevy Malibu. Having a hitch can take you to some pretty cool places like camping, you can tow a bike rack, you can also tow a U-Haul trailer almost anywhere in North America. Let's go ahead and break down this install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. Our first step is gonna to be to remove the middle exhaust hanger. We'll go ahead and use some soapy water to help us get through that. Now we're gonna go a little bit deeper under the car. We're gonna use a 13 millimeter to remove four exhaust brace bolts, and then we'll go up and above, and we'll remove two 13 millimeter exhaust flange nuts. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove the exhaust. Uh, sometimes you can have a dual exhaust, and so you'll get a second pair of hands to help you safely remove it. You can also use a ratchet strap to brace it in this way that it doesn't hit the ground when you pull on it. Now with our exhaust removed, we're gonna go ahead and remove the heat shield to remove five clips. We'll do so by using needle nose pliers. With our heat shield now removed, we're gonna go and trim it to get the frame exposed for install. The measurements on the instructions are gonna be four inches by 11 inches. We're gonna undo so with tin snips. With our driver's side heat shield now trimmed, we're gonna go ahead and reinstall it. If you have dual exhaust, you'll have to do the same on the passenger side before you continue. Now we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the clips. Next, we'll be using a 15 millimeter socket to get one bolt from the inside of the exhaust hanger out. We're gonna go and replace the factory bolt with our new M10 bolt. And we'll repeat for the passenger side. Now with those two bolts in place, we're gonna use our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack to get our hitch into position. We're gonna go ahead and put our flange nut on to keep the hitch secure. We'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Now we're gonna go ahead and use our fish wire to get our carriage bolts and spacers into place. We're gonna take this end of the fish wire, we're putting it through our first access hole. We're gonna put the spacer in first, followed by the bolts, and we're gonna go ahead and pull them through. We're gonna do the exact same on this access hole. We're gonna go ahead and put our flange nut on to keep the hitch secure.
We'll go and do the same thing on the other side. Now we're just gonna go ahead and hand tighten all of our nuts onto the bolts. Now we'll use an 11 16 for the two bolts on the bottom and a 5 8 for the bolt going through the exhaust spray hanger bracket to get them torqued down to specification. We'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna go ahead and put our cart back together. Now with our hitch installed, we pulled onto level ground to get you guys some important measurements. This is gonna be an inch and a quarter receiver from the pinhole to the bumper is gonna be four inches. From the bottom of the ground to the top of the receiver will be 12 inches. This will help you determine the length, rise, and drop for your hitch accessories such as a bike rack and cargo carrier. If you have any questions about the products seen in this video, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul hitch professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you out there.